Right, let's take a look at normal probability, normal distribution. The life of a Radio Shack player is normally distributed with a mean of 3.2. So let's, oops, let's write the mean down. Mean is 3.2. Standard deviation is 0 0.9. And the first question is about the probability the record player will last less than two years. So we need to look up the z-score if we're dealing with two. So the z-score formula is x minus mu over sigma. So we have 2 minus 3.2 divided by 0 0.9. And we work this out, and it's negative 1.3333, etc. Let's just double check, pull up a calculator, 2 minus 3.2 divided by 0.9, there we go. All right, now with negative 1.3333, we go to a z-score table. Now the z-score table is to the left of a negative z-score. We're looking for the probability that a radio player or that from Radio Shack lasts less than two years. So the shaded less than is what we want. Negative 1.3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So negative 1.33 is in the middle of 0 0.0918 and 0 0.0901. It's a little closer to this one, but we don't have a perfect 3333 three, 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 three forever. So the closest one is this one. 0 0.0918. So 0 0.0918. Now round it up, that would be 9.2%. The answer says 9.1%. If we take a look at our calculator and let our calculator do the actual full amount of Let's see, it's distribution, normal PDF, normal CDF. We want to go from negative on the left. So we're basically asking the calculator to go from negative infinity and add, working the area all the way up to this value. So it's going to compute the entire shaded region. So we want to go up to uh, 2 where the mean is 3 point, wait, what was the mean? Double check, 3.2. And the standard deviation is 0.9. This will be the closest we can get to the answer. So, this says 9.12%. So we have 9.18 and 9.12 is the actual answer. And we have the z-score table giving us between 9.18 and 9.01. So the 9.12 in between is the answer we're really trying to get. But we can't get there with the z-score table. We can get a good approximation, and sometimes we happen to get the right answer if it's a perfect, like negative 1.33, if that were the actual score we were looking up. But it isn't. So we have to just get as close as we can. So our answer is not as good as it could be. Now here's the issue. We have 9.2. We write that down percent. But the answer is 9.1. They worked with the exact answer. The computer should give you credit for that. We're getting as close as we can. For the next question, we want more than four years. So we look up the z-score first off of four years. The mean is 3.2, the standard deviation is 0 0.9. So 4 minus 3.2, 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.9. We have 0 0.88888. Repeating. So we're going to be able to look up 0 0.89. Now here's an issue with the table. So let's take a look at the table again. This time I've got a positive z-score table, 0.89. We have one, uh, sorry, 0.8133, the closest we can get, 
0.8133, but this is the area to the left of the z-score. We want the area to the right because we want to find out what's the probability it lasts more than four years. So we're going to have to take this 0.8133, which is to the left, and do 1, which is all of it, minus that to the left to get the stuff to the right. So 0.8133 This is um, the probability that we're less than four years. So the probability that we're greater than four years is one minus this value. Okay. And we're getting 0.1867. So this would be 18.7%. That actually matches up with the exact answer as well. Let's take a look. If you have this kind of graphing calculator, we can again go into the distribution, cumulative PDF. This time we want to go from 4 to really far to the right. I just put like 4 or 5 nines, where the standard deviation is 3.2 and the Sorry, the, the mean is 3 to the standard deviation is 0 0.9. 0 0.1870, so 18.7%. The z-score table gets us 18.67%. The actual answer is 8.7%. In this case, the z-score table rounds to the exact answer. That's why this answer here would give would be the same as what you see as the correct answer, whereas our z-score table answer for the first one was a little bit off. The z-score tables in general are only approximations. If you have a graphing calculator, like the TI-83 plus that I have here, you can actually work out the exact answers. All right, I hope this helps.